Kiki Smith. Kiki Smith was born in 1954 in Nuremberg, Germany, and moved to New Jersey in the U.S. when she was young. She is the daughter of Tony Smith, who was a minimalist sculptor and was an influence and point of inspiration for her art. She was raised in a Catholic and artistic family and shares femini feministic views, which is portrayed in many of her pieces. Smith will work with any material. She ranges from 2D to 3D pieces. Her first solo exhibition was in 1982, and she is currently still making art. As of now, she lives and works in the New York City. The piece I've researched is titled Line with the Wolf. It was created in 2001 and is made with ink and pencil on paper. Its dimensions are 88 by 73 inches. The subject matter of this piece is of a woman and a wolf. The woman is based on St. Genevieve, the painter patron saint of Paris. For inspiration, Smith says, in the Louvre, I saw a picture of Genevieve sitting with the wolves and the lambs. I had stopped making images of people for a couple years. I had just wanted to make animals. But then I saw that picture and I thought, it's really important to put them all together. So I drew my friend Genevieve as a Genevieve, and then I made all these wolves. The woman is nude, reclining on her side while gently caressing a wolf. She wraps her arms around it stroking the fur. The wolf welcomes her embrace and is tamed. These figures are depicted realistically with accurate proportions and body details in a flat two-dimensional way. They are drawn against a plain abstract background with the natural tones of the background creating different tones on their bodies. The piece appears minimalistic in that only the essential subjects are shown. Only a woman and wolf are needed to convey the meaning and do not need to be in space. Context. Lying with the Wolf is about spirituality, equality, nature, and narrative. Wolves in myths and fables usually represent evil and temptation, but here the wolf is shown having a close, peaceful relationship with a human. On the woman's end, her intimacy with a wild creature shows a message of female strength and bravery. Additionally, having a nude woman shows vulnerability, but she is covering herself up and letting the wolf protect her. Both the woman and wolf are of equal purpose and scale, instead of predator and prey, which shows Smith, Smith's political statement about inequalities. These are two of the ways Smith's art ties in with feminist themes. Her inspiration, as said before, came from Saint Genevieve, patron saint of Paris. The story, as quoted by artstudio.org, is that Saint Genevieve persuaded the Parisians to remain in their homes and pray in order to protect themselves from the army of Attila the Hun in 451 CE. The prayers of Paris were answered. Attila and his men were diverted and attacked the city of Orleans. Kiki Smith recalls seeing a portrait of the patron whose purity and gentleness caused both wolf and lamb to lay down in peace. Smith took this story and applied it in a new way. She didn't directly make a, a depiction of Saint Genevieve or a historical event. She made this nameless woman represent Genevieve as she and the story embody the complex relationship between humans and animals. In this and other works of hers, she reinterprets and recontextualizes stories and characters from literature, myth, history, and religion. Lying with the Wolf uses bold, single lines to outline the human form and small directional marks to depict hair. Contrast is shown with a black mass against a near-transparent figure but the figure still remains a focal point because of its detailing and heavy outlining. The wolf's limbs appear blocky and rough while the figure is smooth and curvy. The wolf also has curves in the shape of his body and the figure is in a very angled position creating both contrast and unity by sharing design elements. The position of both bodies balance each other out also creating unity. Lastly, the brown crumpled paper gives a naturalistic earthy feeling. Paper is thought of as a delicate and feminine material in general. However, Smith believes paper is strong and malleable, which may add to her meaning of female strength. Other pieces from Kiki Smith's series in 2001 include Wearing the Skin and Rapture. Wearing the Skin is done with ink and pencil on paper and is 72 and 1 by 88 inches. 
It is very similar to Lion with the Wolf in that it represents St. Genevieve and follows the same themes related to the bonding of animals. In this one, the woman has a fur pelt of a wolf hanging over her. It demonstrates that she and the animal are one, and it is offering her more protection and strength. Rapture is a bronze sculpture and is 67 and 1 fourth by 62 by 26 and 1 half inches. Rapture depicts a woman walking out of the wolf as a symbol of resurrection. The wolf lies on its back with its legs in motion, looking defeated. The woman is stepping with a bold stance and confidence. The female's body is fully shown as opposed to the others. The meaning derived from this is that this person is becoming independent and separating herself from the shelter that is the wolf. Her works are intended to be pieces of communication of social and societal matters. They use it to invoke a response on the viewer with human body as a social and political object. Museum of Modern Art stated that she wanted to challenge the long tradition of male artists' exploitation of the female body as an erotic subject. In addition, all of the works tie together with themes of closeness and bonding with animals, a theme that joins Smith's love for animals and the female person. Her works are large and the paper pieces are hanged wrinkled and pinned to the wall. They are intended to be shown in public museums and galleries. Kiki Smith's world result revolves around art. She says that art is something that moves from your insides to the physical world, a representation of your insides in a different form.